हेलो फ्रेंड्स बेंडिंग मोमेंट फॉर्म्यूला फॉर अ बीम द बेंडिंग मोमेंट इज हाउ मच ए बीम बेंड्स वेन ए फोर्स इज अप्लाइड टू इट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ स्ट्रॉन्ग द फोर्स इज एंड हाउ फार अवे द फोर्स इज फ्रॉम वेर यू आर लुकिंग द फॉर्म्यूला इज एम इज इक्वल टू एफ इन टू डी वेर एम इज द बेंडिंग मोमेंट दैट इज हाउ मच द बीम बेंड्स एफ इज द फोर्स how strong the push or pull is and d is the distance how far the force is from the point you are looking at imagine a beam with a 500 newton force pushing on it 3 meters from the left side to find the bending moment at that point m is equal to 500 into 3 is equal to 1500 newton meter the bending moment is 1500 newton meter This means the beam is bending a lot at that point because of the force. In simple words, the bending moment tells us how much the beam will bend when something pushes or pulls on it. Moment of inertia. The moment of inertia is a way to measure how hard it is to bend or spin something. It depends on the shape of the object and where its weight is. if the weight is farther from the middle it is harder to move think of it like this imagine you are trying to spin a long heavy stick it is harder to spin than a small light stick the heavy stick has more weight far from the center making it harder to turn moment of inertia helps engineers know how much force is needed to bend or twisting something the bigger the moment of inertia the harder it is to bend or twist different shapes like rectangles or circles have different ways to calculate their moment of inertia example for a rectangle with width b and height h we can find its moment of inertia with a special formula that is i is equal to b into h cube divided by 12 this formula helps engineers understand how strong a beam or column is when they build things like buildings or bridges imagine you have a rectangular beam width is 2 meters and height is 4 meters now let us calculate the moment of inertia i is equal to b into h cube divided by 12 that is 2 into 4 raised to 3 divided by 12 is equal to 10.67 m fourth result the moment of inertia of this rectangular beam is 10.67 m4 what does this mean the moment of inertia tells us how much the beam resists bending or twisting a higher moment of inertia means the beam is more resistant to bending in this case the beam is larger and has a higher moment of inertia so it would be harder to bend compared to a smaller beam This calculation helps engineers design beams that can hold weight and stay strong without bending too much. Factor of safety of soil. The factor of safety is used to ensure that the soil can safely support the weight of a structure without failing. For shallow foundations like footings or slabs, the typical factor of safety is 2.5. In some cases, for more critical structures, it may be increased to 3. for deep foundations such as piles or drilled shafts the factor of safety is usually 3 when it comes to slopes such as embankments or natural hills the factor of safety is usually between 1.5 and 2 for higher risk slopes it can go up to 2.5 to 3 these values help ensure that the soil can carry the load without collapsing considering the type of foundation or structure and its risk level road pavement layers a road is built with different layers to make it strong and safe to drive on here are the layers subgrade this is the ground beneath the road it is like the base that holds everything up subbase this layer is on top of the subgrade it helps make the road stronger and keeps water from hurting the ground beneath base cores this is a thicker strong layer above the subbase 
it helps the road carry heavy cars and trucks wearing course this is the top layer of the road it is smooth and strong so cars can drive safely on it each layer helps the road stay strong and last a long time facing of expansion joints in concrete pavements as per indian standard 3414 1968 the spacing of expansion joints in concrete pavements is typically for unreinforced concrete pavements the joint spacing should be 3 to 5 meters and for reinforced concrete pavements the joint spacing can be 5 to 6 meters this spacing depends on the slab thickness temperature changes and the type of pavement the joints help the concrete expand and contract with temperature changes coefficient of permeability of soil it is a number that helps us understand how quickly water can flow through the soil hence it is expressed in meter per second think of soil like a sponge some sponges let water through easily while others don't the coefficient of permeability tells us how fast or slow water can move through different types of soil if the soil is sandy water passes through it quickly so the permeability is high if the soil is clay water moves very slowly so the permeability is low standard length of steel reinforcement bars the standard length of steel reinforcement bars is typically 12 meters or approximately 40 feet this is the most common length used in construction and reinforcement work though the length can vary depending on local standards project requirements and manufacturer specifications in some cases shorter or longer lengths may be used or bars may be cut and welded together to meet the specific requirements of a project however 12 meters is the conventional standard so friends see you in the next video thanks for watching